Good morning, everybody. Hopefully everyone is safe from Tropical Storm Hillary. Tropical Dud Hillary, at least in our area. It is August 21st, 2023 in the Big Bear, California area. 60 degrees. And this is the aftermath. So for the new, the new folks here, the aftermath video is basically driving around town, usually the main portions of town, just to uh, see what happened. When we do, when we have have the snowstorms, the aftermath basically shows you how much snow is in different parts of town. Because this town, even though it's so small, some areas get a lot more snow than others, and it's pretty cool to see that. But this is going to be basically a drive just to see what kind of flooding and any damage. Hopefully we don't see any damage. It's such a beautiful day today. I mean, it is so gorgeous out here. For those of you who don't know, we're, we're just about 7,000 feet elevation in Southern California. The nearest big town is San Bernardino. Or technically, well, yeah, big town, San Bernardino, at the bottom of the mountain. And for all my Harley friends who ride Harleys, that's where the Hells Angels were founded. I've always had a an interest in, like, in motorcycle clubs because of the brotherhood and stuff like that. Just, you know but something I would never ever be a part of. But when your own family ditches you, <laughs> you know, you try to find it somewhere else. But yeah, so I hope everyone's doing good. Hope the people who had leaks in their roofs got that taken care of. Quite a few of you had some leaks, so I'm, I'm hopeful you guys got it handled. I know a lot of us don't have a lot of extra money to spend for this stuff and uh, if it was really bad I don't know how insurance works when it comes to a tropical storm I'm sure they have stipulations any way they can to make it so they don't have to pay anything that's how these insurance companies work they're just there to take your money and not help you out Yeah, we're on Big Bear Boulevard. We're going to be taking this into Baldwin Lake. Driving all the way around Big Bear Valley. Which includes Baldwin Lake, Big Bear City, Fawn Skin, and then back to Big Bear Lake. As the crow flies, Big Bear Valley is 8 miles in length from the Big Bear Dam to Baldwin Lake. So we're going to be doing that drive. such crisp clean air up, up here the smog typically doesn't make it all the way up here it stays down in the, in, in the valleys way down below the mountain so we're very fortunate with that also and it's just a much more peaceful place to live there's not as much drama up here as there is down the mountain so that's why I, I cherish this place I guess you could call it a little piece of heaven. But we didn't lose any power. That's great. Apparently we had uh, news stations were saying that Big Bear experienced some 70 mile per hour winds, but uh, I was out in the storm the whole time and I didn't see anything even near that, even during the, the supposed heaviest parts of it. So. 
I don't, I, I don't get it, but, well, and I also posted the Big Bear Lake level information, our friend Gabriel always sends it to me as soon as it comes out, it's a little sheet that talks about where the lake level was and what it is now, so it's in the community section, the lake has only risen by three inches, way less than I thought, even from three or four inches of rain. It's way less than I thought. I thought from three or four inches of rain, we would at least get a foot and a half rise. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking, well, if you got three inches of rain and the lake rose three inches, isn't that what it's supposed to do? No, actually not. Because of all the runoff going into the lake too, it adds so much more water. So I'm thinking it's our land just really absorbed most of the moisture since it didn't come down too hard. It's when it really comes down hard for a long period of time that the, that the ground gets saturated and, the, and then the rainwater has nowhere to absorb. So it runs off of it like it's a concrete path. But yeah, you guys. Good to see you guys today. Thanks again for being on the live feeds. I've had I've had a lot of fun. It's making me look forward to winter time. I I did kind of forget how tiring this gets, but I got three hours of sleep. Oh, excuse me, that's rude. I got three hours of sleep, so I'm good to go for another day. So after these videos and responding to all the comments that come in today, then I'm gonna be able to take a little bit of a break. I still have to work today too, but yeah, everything I do from my job to my YouTube channel are passions of mine, so that's why I can push through it because I, I love what I do. I wake up every day saying I get to do this instead of like, oh crap, I have to go to work, this is horrible. I never have that attitude anymore. to Baldwin where we saw most of the most of the damage yesterday not not damage I should say debris all over the place now we are on Shea Road Big Bear Boulevard, if you stay straight and cross Highway 38, it becomes Shea Road. Look at these clouds over here, babe. When, we, when you get a good view, just sitting right on top of the mountain. Pretty awesome. Awesome looking. At least I think they were. Yeah, look at that. We're going to be driving right into that. Not into the clouds, but really, really close. And it looks like the only way off the mountain is the, the back 18. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, is, is that what it says on your phone? Yeah. We got some fire trucks here. We're probably doing some investigation stuff. Wow, these clouds look awesome over here, you guys. Get get ready. Get ready. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Bobby Darren, right? Don't worry, be happy. Again, I, I tend to mention this little part of this drive often. It's one of my favorite little stretches of road because you're, you're driving through like a tunnel of trees. It's really pretty. But yeah, look at, look at these clouds over the mountain right there. 
is so, so beautiful. They're gonna be touching the top of, of our car, which is pretty cool. So when, when we get over there, it's gonna be awesome. We're, all, we're almost there, another 10 minutes and we'll be right there. I wish we could go to the beach. Oh, the beach. It'd probably be filthy today, filthy. The water, but it would be so beautiful. It would be so beautiful. Especially down in, in SH Beep Creek in Laguna, kind of close to my home area. Every time there's a big storm, it becomes so nasty out there. And they have all these signs up with like skulls and crossbones saying do not go in the water. Really? Yeah. Because it washes all the nasty stuff from from the land, all the oil and sometimes overflow sewage and stuff like that. All just all the all the bad stuff that you don't want to be swimming in. Of course. Anytime there's huge storms. A lot of people do go to my hometown and surf at the wedge because it's it gets so insane. But the wedge is one of the most dangerous surf spots on the planet because the huge waves break so close to shore that if you fall, you're going to slam yourself in, in, into the ground. Like it's it's really dangerous. During huge huge winter storms, I used to go stand there and watch other people surf, and there would be a couple thousand people on the boardwalk, just standing, watching people surfing. It's crazy. Yep, yep. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's, I'm sure they don't want to, but they're, they're definitely playing, playing, playing with fire, but. I'd be more worried if it was an actual hurricane still by the time. Sunset from the yeah, yeah. You show me. Guys, this is my my hometown. That's the sunset from the hurricane. How awesome is that? That's my hometown right there. Beautiful. That's Tam underscore Peterson 89's TikTok. Since we showed it. <laughs> Look at how beautiful the sky is today. It is spectacular. That's Baldwin Lake right there, you guys. Believe it or not, most of the year there's no water out there, but it's the ugliest looking water you've ever seen. It's it's like, it's almost like uh, um, that water at, at Bombay Beach. Um, what's that huge, it's like, it was the largest inland lake. Um, down near Palm Springs, kind of, or down near Mexicali. Why am I spacing it? We've watched lots and lots of videos on it, and that abandoned town, Bombay Beach, and stuff like that. Um, I, I can't be. Can you maybe go on to a map real quick? Yeah, and then what is it? What are you describing? Type in the lake near Bombay Beach. It was that huge lake that was. Um, created by us by man but it ended up getting out of out of control and it, it became freaking humongous it became the biggest lake the Salton sea. the Salton sea that's the one yep the Salton sea I mean I don't know if you guys can tell but look at how how just scary looking that water looks it looks radioactive it's horrible looking Yeah, yeah, you're, you're not allowed to swim in it. If you do, you, you do have a death wish for sure. Okay, this is Baldwin Lake Road now. So, if you, again, if you stay straight on Big Bear Boulevard and don't deviate at all, it turns into Shea Road, and then Shea Road turns into Baldwin Lake Road.
gonna make another little stop, just or well, a stop at the tributary at Grout Creek Tributary, just to see if it happens to be flowing at at, at all today from uh, from the rain trickling down from the top of the mountains. We didn't see anything yesterday, but someone said because it was a lighter rain, it could take a little bit of time for it to. Uh, to make it all the way down, so I'm interested to see. But three inches is all we got. That's just horrible. Horrible. It's like a light, non-stop sprinkle. Look at this, guys. Look how cool that looks. Doesn't that look awesome? It looks like a fire. driving into this real quickly and then we will be driving out of it again if you turn right here at the stop sign about a quarter mile away you start driving down the mountain to go to the desert but we are not going that direction it looks like there's quite a few cars going down well oh. according to the map um, okay you were saying according to the map what uh, it looks like only the back 18 is open right now. Crazy, babe. Um, I know that the, the 330 was, or the 38 was, um, has been closed for some type of. There was some, yeah. Road work that they're doing down there. Well, the road washed out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Highway 38, I was told the road washed out. side of that little fog bank here. And it's right over Baldwin Lake. It's not steam from the temperatures being too cold rising over warm water. That's a machine. I don't know what it does, but... seen it have any water in it for this amount of time. Usually it's long gone by now. Oh, big pothole. You see that thing? Holy smokes. I, bar I barely made it over that massive pothole. I mean, that thing would have popped our tires for sure. I'm glad I saw it. You couldn't miss it. It was the Grand Canyon on the road. What were you saying, babe? In Baldwin, you shouldn't. I don't. I don't think you're. 
I think it's private property. I don't think oh. you're supposed to be out there actually, but I could be wrong. But no, it's it's disgusting water. You do not want to go in there. It's super high in all these different chemicals and stuff like that. You, you don't want to go in there. Here to the left, you're looking at the ski resorts. The one on the left is Bear Mountain, and the one on the right is Snow Summit. Let me uh, let me zoom in. We have no one behind us, so let me zoom in a little bit. That's Bear Mountain Ski Resort. Wait, no, that's Snow Summit Ski Resort. No, that's Snow Summit right there, straight ahead, and that's Bear Mountain Ski Resort. Those are what make this town thrive. And the fact that Rachel turns these houses so quickly for her Airbnb business, she helps make it thrive as well so homeowners can rent their places out. That's always over. Back in Big Bear City. Literally three minutes, that's it. What do you have to do? And I'll make I'll I'll be the judge today. Just think. Really that's it. Yeah. All right. We're gonna stop by one of my wife's Airbnbs. I'm gonna turn it off when we turn off of this main road and then I'll start it when we get back on. Um, just so she can, since we're driving by it, so she doesn't have to waste any gas to drive over here. Even though this town is so small, it's hardly any gas anywhere you go. So yeah, we haven't really seen, seen much. And it, it looks like the roads in Baldwin were already a lot better. So I'm going to shut off the camera and then I will turn it back on once we hit the main road again. Alright guys, sorry I started the video about a block further than when I made the turn back onto the, the boulevard, but it's, you didn't miss anything, I promise. So this is Division Road that we're passing right now. Division Road is one of the roads that will take you from the North Shore to the South Shore. And this little wildlife refuge with all the water in it, it, we usually don't have any water in there and that's been here since winter time and it, it just makes it look so much more spectacular out here. What a lovely place, what a lovely place. What a lovely place. What a lovely place. 
last thing I remember driving on Highway 38. So yeah, we are on Highway 38, AKA the North Shore. Again, our roads are very strange up here. If you stay on this going the other direction, it turns into Highway 18. And then when you're going this direction, once you hit the Big Bear Dam and turn right, it turns into, that's Highway 18 again. It's really strange how our roads work up here, you guys. Very confusing. Very, very confusing. But yeah, I'm, I'm proud to say that there's not much damage up here at all, which is fantastic. Of course, you guys, I really wanted to see Mother Nature's wrath, but not at the cost of any property damage or anybody getting physically hurt. I just wanted to see her snapping trees and, and f having huge floods that are impossible to drive through. But again, without anybody getting hurt. So like, like a, when I say I want to see the worst of, of Mother Nature, it, it's, it's obviously only if we're lucky enough where no one gets hurt. And that's it, that's it. I'm not a bad, bad person because I'm obsessed with, with really intense weather. But I know if it was that bad, there would have been a lot of damage. And so I am very, very grateful that we did get through it without that. I'm just still pretty shocked that we only got three inches. Oh, by the way, that's Stanfield Cutoff. That's another way from the North Shore to the South Shore. But I am really shocked that our lake has only filled up three inches because of the storm. some pretty good lake views right up alongside the lake once we get on the other side of fawn skin so that's going to be pretty cool but as i said we're going to stop at grout creek tributary to see if any of, of the water took its time making its way down the mountainside but i'm expecting to see nada nada not a darn thing to pass one of the most popular campgrounds in the whole town. Actually, yeah, I was going to turn left. It's called Serrano Campground. It's this whole area here. You're, you'll, you'll be able to see some campsites in just a moment if you look through the trees, especially past this next block here. So I'm going to hold the camera out the window to see if you guys can see anything. Probably not going to see anything right now, but... So it, it, it goes further. It keeps on as far as 
I know it's our most popular campsite here. for letting me know that and you got to forgive me for not getting right back to you I've been so unbelievably inundated and I've only had a couple hours of sleep over the past week or the past three nights so forgive me my friend but thank you for letting me know I, I did send the message so I did so I can go slow doing the video. This little area is, a, even though I, it, it, I think it's, it's private property, it would be such a good sledding area in the winter time. I have a couple videos in a playlist about where to go sledding, you guys, for free. license back. I wonder if I can hang it up with my mom still. Because I'd rather give her a percentage of what I make than anybody else. You guys, I'm really contemplating getting my real estate license back. I let it go because of a lot of issues with family because my mom owned a pretty big real estate firm and just some people got special treatment and don't do a darn thing and I just didn't like that at all. They got spoon fed listings and stuff like that and I just wanted to to be out of there. But because of this channel, I think I could do very well and definitely help you guys out a whole bunch. It'd be a win-win situation. And I have a really good reputation up here. Like I'm I'm 
I am a good dude. I, I mean, if you guys watch these 3,300 videos, I, I haven't changed. The only thing that's changed is that I stopped cussing. For the first couple years, I was cussing a lot. But you guys shaped me up. You guys definitely shaped me up. All right, we're at the tributary. I'm just gonna walk down real quick for a second. You wanna go, babe? Yeah. I'm just worried about you with those shoes. This is where all the gold is, guys. Huh. <laughs> I don't hear any water flowing. Yeah. Oh, there's no water. And there was a little bit yesterday. Wow, there was a little bit of water yesterday. Now there's absolutely nothing down here. I'm gonna go walk down there. Be careful, babe. So guys, this was a most beautiful waterfall all winter long. It was just spectacular. Our lake was 18 and a half feet below full pool. And by the end of winter time, it was only six feet down. And right here, yesterday during the live feed, when we had 1600 people watching, this was the heaviest wind that I felt through the whole storm was standing right I here. That there's no water in it. I know, it's crazy. That's insane. You were watching the, the live from the house, right? You saw all the water that was in it. There just wasn't anything. And all the gold is gone. I'm sure you'll find it. No, guarantee you there's plenty of gold here. <laughs> I think it's the pyrite, whatever. Yep, exactly. But I was reading in uh, one of the magazines, because I read about stuff like this all the time, that pyrite actually does, if it stayed there long enough, have some gold in it. Are you reading a magazine called, like, like, strip, like, fiction magazine? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I was walking out here and standing on top of this waterfall in, in the wintertime. It was, it was pretty awesome. There, there's a little bit of water right here, but not much. I wish I had these boots for... I know, right? <laughs> it would have been perfect. Been so I, I could have walked through this whole thing all wintertime. All right, babe, take a rock home. If that puts a smile on your face, then do it. Do it, do it, do it. So there's three of these tunnels and there's a big stream or river back here when it's full. The water comes flying through here and I'm telling you guys, I have a playlist of my tributary videos from last season. If you, if you guys want to see what this looked like when there, when there's a lot of water going through it, it's pretty awesome. A lot of times I would stand right here on the very edge and hang my camera over the edge like that, recording the waterfall from the front. Pretty cool stuff. All right, babe. Ready? I'm ready, Freddy. I'm going to go up on, on this side, okay? Please be careful getting up there. All right, that sweet little girl getting some rocks. I know, we should go for a hike down it one day even though it's not gonna go too far. Anyone wanna buy this car? I, I am selling it. 
I I asked uh um what's gonna call it? I I went online and talked to a couple dealerships when I had about three thousand miles less, and they said the dealer price for it is fifteen thousand six hundred. So if I sold it privately, I could have gotten about eighteen eighteen five with 91, 92,000 miles now, almost almost exactly. And uh, I've got a set of snow tires to give to you guys too. But I'll tell you what, you guys do all your research. I will take a big loss on it because I just want to get rid of it. I, I want to drive my new car, but I can't afford both insurances. And I would rather just sell this instead of keeping it sitting. So I'll get rid of it for 12,000 bucks out the door. I promise you guys, if you do do your research, babe, seatbelt, please. Oh, sorry. If you do your research, you will see that uh, sorry, I that that's a couple grand, even below what a dealer will actually give you. So it doesn't get much better than that. Um, but twelve grand out the door—that's literally the best price I can possibly do. I promise you, you're not going to find one for less. You're not even not not even gonna find one for a few grand more than that so if you if you're good at sales and, and you feel like you can make a few grand off of it just buying it for me and flipping it go ahead but yeah it's 91,954 miles it's a 2019 Subaru Crosstrek it has a two inch lift that cost me a few thousands of dollars I've got a train horn on it um, the muffler was removed Put, put the train horns there but if you wanted to put a muffler back on um, I mean just put it, it's a three thousand dollar train horn system you guys so you could probably easily get fifteen hundred for it which will definitely cover replacing the muffler um, let's see I I added a braking system to it it was in one accident last year and it was just cosmetic damage so there there wasn't any any damage to the motor or tranny or drivetrain at all it was just cosmetic damage um let's see as i said there's a thousand dollars snow tires that i will just give to you so you can have in your garage and then when you when it becomes winter time you can switch them out switch out your regular tires for the snow tires um let's see uh, I can't believe I just said 12,000 bucks, but I need the money you guys like I'm a little bit desperate But I'm 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 not desperate to take any less than that. I can tell you that But if you do your research on on this vehicle um, I think You would be very stoked So yeah 12 grand out the door I'll even get it nicely washed for you Oh I'll, I'll pay to have a mini detail done. Um, let's see. The check engine light sometimes comes on because of the O2 sensor, but um, it, the O2 sensor was replaced twice. I have all the records for all my services. I get all my services done every 5,000 miles like you're supposed to. So for the warranty period, I had it done at Subaru and then I had everything else done at Knight's Automotive up here. He's a good friend of mine. He's a great guy. So let me know. Worst case scenario is if someone's serious about it and you give me a good size deposit, then I know uh, that you're actually gonna do it and don't wanna lose that money, then I'll go get the train horn, I'll pay for it to be removed and have the original muffler put back on. But that's why the car sounds like it's got a crazy exhaust system is because it doesn't have a muffler. So I hope someone's interested it would really help me out. That would get all my bills paid for a year. Every bill that I have. Well, no, that's not true. It would get all my bills paid for six months. Sorry. Not even six months. But very close. 
to six months, which would give me time to save a little bit of money. And it would, it would just be so freeing for me emotionally. And as you guys know, I have a brand new Subaru, a 2023, and a Harley Davidson, a 2020 that I bought in 2019. It's just tough because I didn't think about it when I bought all this stuff that I wasn't gonna have a penny left over every month. And it's, it's a real struggle because I wanna give my wife a lot more than I am, but I don't, I don't have that ability right now. So hopefully this channel grows and, and, and maybe someday I can make a living off, off this channel. I think that'd be pretty neat. That would be pretty neat. But that's never been my goal here. As a lot of you know, I've mentioned it a lot. I've only started asking you guys to like and subscribe uh, coming up on a year. So I've been doing this channel for over seven years without ever asking you guys once in 3,000 videos to like or subscribe. And only in the past nine or 10 months is when I started asking. Big Bear Dam, you guys. I have a couple videos of going behind our dam. It's massive, guys. It's It, it doesn't look like anything from the front. There's that pole. Yeah. So if you turn right here, this Highway 38 turns into Highway 18 right here. And Highway 18 is open going down. It is? Yeah, you just saw a car drive through. Yes, ma'am. Maybe what you read is Highway 18's closed, but that that doesn't mean that Highway 330 is not not closed. Maybe Highway 330 is open, but Highway 18 near like Crestline and stuff always has issues. That's that two-lane road that. Yes, it's open now. It wasn't open earlier. Wow. Okay. Woo! Stinks. Smells like rotten water. Gotta keep our eyes out for some some new potholes. Oh yeah, it smells like now it smells like 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 a fire, yep. Yeah, totally. That's exactly what it smells like now. So someone stunk the place up and then lit a match to make it <laughs> smell better. that I, I already uploaded and, and, and tell me what you think. It's only three and a half minutes long. Okay. Unfortunately, we can't have the ball anymore, which is kind of sad. Because my own channel will get a copyright. It's crazy. Isn't that weird, guys? Like, if I play another one of my videos, for one of these newer videos, I'll get a copyright strike for my own video. And I don't know any way around that. If anyone has any ideas, let me know because I'd like to show 15 second clips of other really cool things that I've done up here.
we're coming up to a really cool little hike. It's called Castle Rock. It is backbreaking though because it's straight up the mountain. It's about I don't know, three quarters of a mile maybe. Right up here, maybe a mile. You gotta go up that whole area right there. It's called Castle Rock. I think it's our most popular hike here. But I do have another playlist that has all the hikes that I've been on this season. From Cougar Crest to the Fern, Fern Trail. Um, let's see, the Pine Knot Trail. That one that, that we just passed. Here's Boulder Bay. This last winter, before last winter, there was no water in Boulder Bay, so it's very beautiful again. interested in seeing if we could ever drive drive out there in the next two or three days which I know we can't but drive out maybe halfway to Vegas probably a two and a half hour drive there and then back because with all this rain the desert's gonna pop up some really colorful beautiful flowers and it's just gonna look incredible out there that would be worth checking out but I just don't have time you guys I'm, I'm, like, I'm always working. And my work depends on when my customers need me. So sometimes I don't start work till noon or one, and sometimes I start at 10 in the morning. But that's the earliest that I will open up to go help folks out. so pretty. We really are dealing with a spectacular day today. 64 degrees, so it's a little bit on the chillier side. Maybe after I, I, I upload this, I, I, I've got, I'm already running late on this, and then I did get a couple calls and they're kind enough to let me postpone it a few minutes because of the aftermath video. You don't have to go with me. McDonald's. Pollo. So my wife is a Mexican woman, and she calls El Pollo Loco El Polo Loco. <laughs> it's just it's, it's it's just to be funny. Okay. <laughs> I also speak. I know it is, but it's Spanish just that I refuse to speak. I. S Nick's never heard me speak Spanish. I've never heard her speak Spanish, but she's heard me speak a lot of Spanish. So cute. Right, baby? I really actually hate when she does that at restaurants because then people look at me and they're like, all right, now you. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't think she actually can. <laughs> I can. I don't think so. I don't think so. You speak in Spanish. I don't know. Definitely looking forward to drinking a mocha frappuccino once I get home. So this is a cool place to go sledding and uh, and go on this roller coaster called the Alpine Slide. You know what? That would be kind of fun. I've got a couple friends who work there who always say, "Come by," and you can just ride. I'll I'll never ask people for for discounts or, or anything like that, but if they offer it to me, I'll take it. I really will. 
but I'll never ever ask, especially my friends who own businesses. I've always found that to be really weird that people's friends ask them to hook them up because they're your friend, but my friends that own businesses, like my friend who owns Knight's Auto, he invested a lot of money and took a lot of risks to build and open this business and works his butt off, so I'll, I'm happy to pay full full price for him. But maybe I was just wired a little bit differently. Maybe it's not bad to ask your friends because friends are there to help so yeah but I just I have a really really hard time I struggle with asking people for any help that's why I've never asked once on these videos for any help I do have it in in the description of each each video if you want to help this channel that's there's ways to to do it but I've never verbally actually asked and I never will we're in the village now folks we are in the big bear village this part of town is what made me so happy to move up here because it's just so cute. Just a cute little place. It gets so packed though. Anytime we have snowstorms, man, this place is just, you, you can't walk anywhere. Indian restaurant right there, Masala Craft. I really like that place. Masala Craft sounds, sounds really good though, huh? It's really great too because I get the spicy at, at at least a five on the scale of one to ten, and it just brings out it it makes it brings out your endorphins big time, and then you get like a little bit of a buzz from it. It's, it's pretty interesting. I know that's addict behavior, but it is what it is. I've been so good, so responsible with my with my sobriety. I'm very proud of myself. I never thought I would get 10 years without drinking. That's crazy. It seems like an eternity. And the best part is I don't even think about it ever. Even in my most rough situations, the toughest times that I go through in life, I never think about drinking, ever. are going to be really happy and it'll be something that you look forward to when you come up here I guarantee you that but yeah we are almost done with our beautiful drive around all of Big Bear Valley well at least the main part of Big Bear Valley we did the whole entire valley from the Big Bear Dam to the back of Baldwin Lake and I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys enjoyed the coverage I provided for everyone of the storm. I had a great time. It was very exhausting, but I had a great time. Thank you guys again for being a part of my life and sharing this experience with me. I'm very thankful each and every single day for all of you. Um, the impact you've had on my life and my emotional well-being has been more dramatic than I could have ever even written for a movie. So thank you guys tremendously for everything, and uh, we're going to go now. Right, baby? Thanks for watching, you guys. 
Absolutely, absolutely. Uh -oh. I want to say more. <laughs> we really enjoy, um, or I really enjoy, I know Nick does too, but I really enjoy doing the live feeds with you guys. You guys are all so awesome and positive, and it's just a really great experience. So thank everybody for watching, and welcome to all the new subscribers. You guys are going to... You guys are not going to regret subscribing. It's a really awesome channel. I second that. Wow. Thanks, baby. And please like, subscribe, as she just yep. said. Help us out big time. Share. Um, share. But yeah, the, the subscribing really, really does help. And once again, very important that those of you folks who are watching, who are newer, who haven't subscribed yet, I don't want to get a charity subscribe. I want you to feel that I've earned it. So thank you guys a lot, and, uh, and I don't mind the charity subscribes. So. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't mind. I do, but I'm I, I I'm really excited to see where this channel goes. We've been doing it for eight and a half years. So once again, please like, subscribe, and share. And I love you guys a lot. Thanks for everything. It's August twenty first, twenty twenty three. Sixty seven degrees in Big Bear Lake. Twelve forty two p.m. Thanks again, you guys. And may the force be with you. I love you guys. Peace out.